good morning everyone today i'm going to discuss about the uh, grid and cloud computing subject unit 4 so in previous videos we have discussed about the uh, open source uh, grid uh, uh, grid middleware packages and uh, uh, we have discussed uh, different topics uh, regarding this uh, unit 4 so in this video i'm going to discuss about the going to discuss about the specifying the uh, input output parameters okay so what is mean by input output parameters okay so specifying the specifying input output parameters in this uh, parameter specifying input output parameters we having map parameters so what is mean by map parameters a record emitted from a map will be uh, serialized in a buffer and metadata will be stored uh, into the accounting buffers so whatever the information we are having that can be serializedly stored in the buffer so uh, we are uh, a record emitted from a map will be serialized so whatever the data we are having that data will be uh, uh, map into a serialized fashion and it will be uh, into a buffer and metadata will be stored into the accounting buffers so either the serialization buffer or the metadata exceed a threshold the content of the buffers will be sorted and written to the disk in the background while the map contains to output records output records so in this uh, uh, output uh, uh, output records so in this uh, uh, we are having minimizing we are going to minimize so here we are uh, <coughs> if uh, either buffer uh, uh, fills uh, completely either buffer fills uh, completely while the spill in is in progress the map thread will be blocked so when the map is uh, finished if the when the map is finished any remaining records are written on the disk and all on disk segments are merged into a single file okay so what we are doing here whenever uh, we are minimizing the number of uh, so not uh, whenever the uh, output is recorded records as uh, records uh, the either buffer file uh, completely spill in progress and uh, the, the map the thread will block and uh, when map is finished mapping when mapping is finished remaining records are written on the disk and uh, all the all on disk segments are merged into a single file so minimizing the number of uh, spills to disk uh, can decreases map time but a large buffer also decreases the memory available to the mapper available to the mapper so in this uh, 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 the uh, the run job we are in this we are having the uh, uh, table uh, the table uh, contains uh, uh, description name type uh, and what is the name we are using input output dot sort dot mb okay so this is the name so for this uh, what we are using means uh, type int we are using so integer type this one this is the integer type and its description is uh, accumulative size of the serialization and accounting the buffers storing the records emitted from the map in megabytes okay so what are the information we are having that can be serializedly uh, size uh, sizedly uh, stored into the uh, buffers and uh, in, in the form of megabytes okay so this is the uh, first one second one is the input output dot uh, sort dot record play dot present so for this uh, uh, percent for calculating the percent we are using the float so in this uh, uh, this the ratio of the serialization accounting space can be adjusted each serialized record requires 16 bytes of accounting information in addition to its serialized size to affect the sort the percentage of uh, space allocated from the in, uh, input output dot sort dot mb affects the probability of uh, a spill Uh, to disk being caused by the either exhaustion of the serialization buffer or the accounting space clearly for mapping the outputting small records a higher value than the default will likely decreases the number of uh, spills to the disk 
so this is called the second one okay so third one is the input output dot sort dot spill dot percent for for calculating the percent for we are using the float only so in this uh, uh, in this uh, this is the uh, this is the threshold for accounting and uh, serialization buffers so the percentage of either buffer has filled their content will be spilled uh, to disk uh, in a background so the uh, input output dot sort dot record dot uh, percent b uh, b uh, br and uh, input dot uh, sort dot mbbx and we are thinking that we are assuming that so first one uh, first type is uh, input dot uh, sort dot mb is an uh, assume as x input dot sort dot uh, record dot percent assume as r okay uh, and uh, or and this value be q and uh, now uh, the maximum number of records collects before the collection thread will spill is r into so we are performing the uh, so at the end we are combining that data by using the into operations that is multiplication that is r into uh, x into q into uh, 2 power 16 so the higher value we may decreases the number of uh, uh, number of or even eliminate the eliminate eliminate and merges but will be increases the probability of the map task getting blocked the lower average map times are usually obtained accurately estimating the size of the map output and preventing the multiple spills uh, spills okay so it is nothing but for a uh, uh, for short example i will tell that uh, so uh, having the uh, so uh, uh, same uh, same uh, uh, living things are having okay like uh, cow uh, buffalo okay lion tiger this like okay so that all are uh, uh, that all are arranged in different different sorts okay uh, so what i am doing here so in order to reduce the table so i am going to combine that everything okay so to get to get in a one file okay so in different different files are having that information so what i am doing in order to uh, decrease the file size okay so i am combining that data to uh, to store in a one file okay so that way uh, the multiple number of uh, spills will be decreases uh, at the output okay it will be become in one file okay so first we are having you know, one in one file i have uh, uh, some uh, living animal okay so in another file i have some another living animal okay so I'll, uh, that like i having the four living animals in different different files what i am doing so i am going to merge that all okay so uh, uh, related things what are the related things so in in two uh, two three tables or two three files are having the same uh, uh, same uh, living uh, animals in the remaining two are uh, that is the electronic devices so we can say so that are those those things uh, which is uh, similar to each other that will be merged into the one one side one so that wise uh, the spills will be multiple spills will be uh, prevent uh, prevented and uh, reduced at the output side okay it will be become a yes, uh, small table okay so that is we are doing here okay we, uh, we are going to map that information and we are arranging in a serializer fashion okay in serializer fashion that can be stored in the buffer so whatever the information we are storing that should be uh, uh, that should be uh, reduce uh, re uh, decreases that should be decreases the uh, 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 decreases the file okay whenever we are merging uh, the higher may and value may be decreases uh, and uh, it will be merges with each other okay so that is the concept of this okay so next coming to other nodes so in this uh, regarding this table so if either the spill threshold is exceeded while spill is in progress collection will be continued until the spill is finished for example i in, if uh, input output dot uh, i uh, input output dot sort dot buffer dot spill dot percent is uh, said to be 0 0.33 and the uh, remainder of the buffer will be is filled uh, while the spill runs the next spill will include the uh, include all the collected records or uh, 0 0.66 of the buffers and uh, will not generate additional spills in other words the results are defining uh, triggers not blocking so a record uh, a record larger than the serialization buffer uh, serialization buffer 
will first trigger a spill then the then uh, then uh, be spilled a separate file it will be undefined whether or not this record uh, will first pass through the combiner okay so this is the uh, other uh, uh, explanation of this table and next coming to shuffle or uh, reduce parameters shuffle or reduce shuffle means first we are shuffling the uh, parameters and we are reducing the parameters okay so we are this here we uh, each reduces the fetches the output assigned to be uh, assigned to it uh, by the partitioner uh, via http okay http hypertext transfer protocol into the memory and periodi periodically merges uh, the, these uh, outputs to the disk so the intermediate uh, compression of map outputs is turned on so each output is decompressed into the memory so now only i said that co concept so shuffle and reducing parameter this is the main concept and uh, here uh, the intermediate compression map output is turn on uh, turn on each output is decomposed into the memory the following options affects the frequency of these merges uh, to disk peri uh, period to the reduce and the memory allocated to map output uh, during the during the reduce okay so we are reducing whatever the information we are having okay whatever the information we are having uh, 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 having some uh, uh, trees uh, tree uh, tree design okay so in that uh, tree design uh, I, i'm just assuming i uh, having a tree design in that uh, tree design i uh, having this a uh, different uh, i normally i told i have um, uh, using the different animals that like uh, so cow tiger so i uh, having the anti um, uh, ambic uh, different types of animals so they are arranged in the list okay uh, one by one in one file one uh, one living thing and another file another living thing so this like uh, i'm arranging the 10 different things uh, so ten different uh, five five different living things uh, and five or uh, uh, devices like uh, electronic devices like you think a uh, uh, fridge or uh, car so this like uh, okay so vehicles vehicles like okay so regarding uh, what are the uh, uh, similar things are there in that uh, list so that similar things are combinedly uh, uh, combinedly and uh, compressed in one table and another similar things are compressed in the one table uh, the two or whatever the two have any common thing in that we are removing that common thing and we are merging the two things in a one file okay so that is reducing the file okay we are uh, we are going to map that information and that merges the uh, data uh, at the output on the uh, to the disk okay so here i am using some table so same as uh, similar uh, before thing like uh, i have name type and description so in this i am using the input output dot sort dot factor so here i am using the type int so it specifies the number of uh, segments on uh, on a disk to be merged disk to be merged at the same time so uh, it it has some limits uh, that number of uh, open files and compression codecs during the merge if the number of files exceeds this limit the merge will proceed in several passes so this limit also applies to maps and most jobs should be configured uh, so that uh, hitting this limit is unlikely there okay so this is the one uh, fact uh, one in uh, one uh, met, uh, uh, following option we are using here so input output dot uh, sort dot factor so second one is the uh, map red map red dot in memory dot merge dot threshold so for this also i am using the int type is int so the number is a sorted map of out outputs fetched into memory before being merged to the disk uh, like the spill thresholds in the preceding uh, preceding nodes so in the in this is usually set up high thousand uh, thousand or disabled zero so merging in memory segments is often less expensive than merging from the disk uh, disk so this this threshold in, uh, influence only the frequency of in memory merge during the shuffle okay so this is the second one and third one is a map red dot job uh, dot shuffle dot merge dot percent 
so here i'm going to shuffle that uh, shuffling uh, after shuffling that information i'm merging that okay so the memory in this i am using the percentage means i am using the float here so the memory threshold the memory uh, threshold for uh, uh, fetched map output before and in, in memory merge is uh, started expressed as a percentage of memory allocated to storing map output in memory so uh, here i'm uh, 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 I have settings this high map decreases parallelism between the fetch and merge so conversely values has high as 1.0 have been effectively for reduce whose input can be fit entirely in memory okay uh, so uh, entirely in the memory so the, uh, the this parameter influence only the frequency of memory merges during the shuffle okay so after shuffling that information we are going to match into the memory okay so this is the third one next fourth one is uh, uh, map read uh, dot job dot shuffle dot input dot buffer dot percent for this also i'm using the float so the percentage of memory re uh, relative to the maximum heap size uh, as typically specified in map read uh, dot reduce dot chain dot java dot ops that can be allocated to storing map uh, outputs during the shuffle so it is a uh, advantage of set uh, this high enough to store large and numerous map outputs okay so this is the fourth one and fifth one is map red job dot uh, uh, jo red dot job dot uh, reduce dot input dot buffer dot percent after shuffling that uh, i'm going to match that information so whenever that information is matched so it will be the buffer uh, will be reduces okay the percentage of the memory relative to the maximum uh, heap size in which map out may be uh, retained during the reduce so when reduce begins the map outs will be merged to disk uh, to disk until those remain under the resource limit so by default all the map outs are merged to the disk before they reduce being the maximum the memory available to be reduced less memory in intensive reduces increases to avoid the trips on disks so this is the fifth one okay so these are the uh, different uh, tables uh, considered in this uh, 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 map parameters so next to coming to uh, this is the explanation of this next to coming to config config uh, configuring and uh, running a job so running a job in hadoop so we are going to run the job in hadoop so the, the uh, three components contribute in running a job in this system so uh, depending on the three contributes uh, uh, three components contributes uh, will be running uh, running a job in this system that is uh, a user node a job tracker and uh, several task tra trackers okay so the, depending on the three things uh, we are running the job uh, okay in the system okay the job run uh, functions the job the run job the run job functions and uh, uh, conference or uh, or uh, comparable to the map reduce uh, specialization and results functions and uh, is, uh, special in the first implementation of reduce uh, map reduce by google so the data flow of running a map reduce job in uh, hadoop so job submission uh, what uh, what is mean by job submission so so the uh, so uh, job trackers the data flow starts so the data flow starts by calling the run job uh, uh, function inside the user program running on the user node so in this uh, in which a constraint is an object containing some uh, turning parameters for map reduce framework and hdf hdfs so the job run uh, functions and uh, uh, conference are uh, comparable to the map reduce uh, functions and uh, specialization in the first implementation of uh, map reduce uh, by google depicts the data flow of running uh, the, uh, the running a map reduce job in hadoop okay data flow in running a map reduce job at various task uh, trackers using the hadoop library okay so job submission at each jo uh, job submission uh, uh, each job so each job is uh, submitted from a user node 
to the job uh, tracker uh, user node to the job tracker uh, track uh, tracker job tracker node that might be uh, situated in different node uh, within the cluster through the following procedure so we having some procedure we have to follow that procedure the user node copies some the user node asks the user nodes ask for a new job id from the job tracker so what the user will be do the user will be ask for the new job uh, id at the job tracker and uh, computes the input file splits and compute and uh, and computes input file uh, splits the user node copies uh, some resource such as uh, jobs uh, jar file configuration file and computed input splits uh, the and the computed input splits to the job tracker file system so the user node submits the job to the job tracker the user node will be submit a job he, he will the user node will be submit the job to the job tracker by calling the submit job uh, function okay submit job function uh, sub, uh, submit a uh, job function so the user so the um, job function so the the here the task assignment the task uh, we are having the task assignment here so the job tracker creates one map uh, task for each computed input split by user nodes uh, and assigns uh, uh, assigns the map uh, task to uh, to the execution slots of the task trackers so the task uh, the uh, execution of the uh, uh, Ex uh, map task uh, computed into split uh, by the user node and uh, and assigns the map task to execution slots of the task trackers the job tracker uh, uh, considers the localization of the data uh, uh, when uh, localization of data uh, data when assigning the uh, map task uh, to the uh, tracker the number of reduced task is predetermined by the user and there is no locality consideration in assigning them so task execution what is mean by task execution uh, task execution so we having the uh, job submission uh, task assignment uh, task uh, uh, ta task execution what is mean task execution whatever the information task we are having we have to execute that the control flow to execute a task either map or reduce starts inside the task tracker by copying the job jar file uh, to its file system the instruction inside the job jar file or executor after launching a java virtual machine to run its uh, map or uh, reduce task so the task running check uh, a task running uh, check is performed by receiving a periodic heartbeat message to the job tracker from the task tracker so each heartbeat notifies the job tracker that the sending task tracker is alive and whether the sending task tracker is ready to run a new task so so this is called the task execution so okay so this is the task execution we are having so in this uh, 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 having the design of a hadoop file system okay so before going to explain this uh, hadoop file system once again i'm just uh, recounting the point recollecting the point uh, regarding this uh, uh, configuration of uh, uh, this uh, configuration and the job running running a job so uh, depending on uh, uh, depending on the three uh, components i'm going to run the job in the system that is user node and job tracker and several task trackers will be there so in this we having some uh, job submission so uh, task assignment uh, task execution so uh, these are uh, depending on these uh, three things uh, we are following the uh, instructions okay so what is mean by job submission we told uh, in order to submit the job the user want to submit the job to the job tracker node it might be situated in different node within a cluster through the following procedures so i am asking the jo new job id uh, i mean i am the user node i am asking the new job id to the job tracker and uh, uh, and the input file uh, when uh, when the it computes the input file splits the user copies some resources uh, such as job jar uh, file so and configuration file and computed input splits okay uh, in the job tracker file system so this is called this is the job submission 
so task assignment and task execution task assignment means uh, they will be uh, they will be given they will be job tracker creates one uh, task map task for each computed input splits uh, by the user node and uh, assign the map task to the execution slots of the task trackers so this is the one condition this is called assignment for the task this is the task assignment for the uh, client so task execution means whenever the task is given the task should be executed the control flow to execute the task either uh, starts inside the tra task tracker by comp copying the job jar file to its file system okay so the instructions instructions inside the jar file are executed after launching the java virtual machines to run its map reduce task okay so the task running the task running checks all the task uh, uh, checks uh, is uh, performed by receiving the periodic heartbeat message to the job tracker from the task tracker so each heartbeat will be notified at the job uh, tracker and sending the task tracker that uh, it is alive and uh, uh, whether the sending task tracker is ready to run a new task okay so this is called the uh, uh, configuring uh, and uh, running a job okay so this is the another one so next uh, in the next uh, class we will discuss about the design of uh, uh, hadoop file system okay uh, thank you and uh, so i am having some more topics uh, uh, in the next video which i am going to explain that is the design of uh, hadoop file system basic file system operations uh, and these are the commands uh, which are used in this hadoop uh, file system and uh, next uh, we are having some hdfs concepts uh, and data replication things this is the diagram of hdfs uh, and command and interface hdfs so these are the different things i'm going to explain data flow uh, file write in hdfs read in hdfs so okay these are the steps which is followed in the hdfs okay and uh, uh, these are the different topics which is i'm going to explain in the next uh, video class thank you thank you everyone